Hey guys and welcome to Arctech. So in this video we'll solve a question based on finding the output and the question has arrays and pointers. Okay. So in this function in this question we have two parts. The first part is a function whose name is encrypt and second one is the main function. In the first function that is in the encrypt function we are taking two arguments. The first one is a character pointer okay whose name is s and second one is a integer uh, variable whose name is key. Inside the first function we are working with pointers. Okay, now we'll go inside the main. Okay, the first one is declaration and initialization of uh, integer array. Okay, name of this array is key set. Okay, and these are the values for its elements. Then we have declared a character array whose name is PVT MSG, and these are the values for its elements. Okay, so the, so the string is having these value. Okay, then we have a for loop. Inside the for loop, we have this code, and this loop will work until c is less than two. Initially, c is zero. So this loop will work until c is less than 2 that is until c is 0 and c is 1 okay so this loop will work two times inside this we have we are calling the uh, encrypt function pa by passing two parameters the first one is array and second one is the uh, key set of c okay now i have made a table here and this table has the variables that are present in this question okay then you can see that i have the string here that is pvt msg and this is the value of this string that is the character array okay then we are passing the array name and this uh, key set of c as argument now c is 0 initially and key set of 0 is 1 okay therefore we are passing 1 as second argument and the, for the first argument we are passing the array okay now one thing you should know is that when we pass the array as function argument then we are passing the address of the first element of the array that is a base address okay so in this case while passing pvt msg okay that is the array we are passing the address of the first element of this array that is the address of c okay now this address okay these uh, these elements are uh, passed here okay and the address that is this uh, first element address is stored inside uh, s pointer okay and this key set of c uh, will store will be stored inside this integer key therefore now star s that is the pointer s will have the address of c okay this thing and key will have the value of key set of c that is 1 okay so here you can see we have key as 1 now and then we have star s that is the uh, pointer to, to first element of the array so you can see so assume that this is our star s and this is the pointer to first element of the array so you can see here this s is pointed to first element that is c now we'll go inside this encrypt function inside this we have first statement as declaration of a character pointer whose name is temp okay and temp that is the pointer is assigned the value of s now initially s is having the address of first element okay therefore temp will also have the address of first element so you can see here assume that this is our pointer temp and this is also having the address of first element that is this temp is pointing to first element okay so now this is temp okay this arrow is temp after this we have if condition here and if says that if key modulus 2 is equal to 0 so we'll check this condition now our key is 1 okay and 1 modulus 2 okay so you can see here key modulus 2 and we have key as 1 so 1 modulus 2 is equal to 1 why because 2 into 0 is 0 and the remainder here is 1 okay therefore we have key modulus 2 is equal to 1 and this thing is 1 and 1 is not equal to 0 so therefore this condition is false so we will not enter inside this if condition okay then we have a while loop here okay and this while loop will work until star temp is not equal to null now we know that at the end of every string we have a null character that is this character okay so this loop will work until we are at the end of this string so here we have condition as star temp is not equal to null now see temp is pointing here therefore star temp that is dereferencing of temp is equal to c that is capital c why because the value here where temp is pointing is c then we have uh, this condition that is star temp is not equal to c uh, not equal to null so star temp is c and c is not equal to null so this condition is true so we will enter inside this while loop inside this we have two statements okay now understand this thing clearly in the first statement we are working with the value where temp is pointing okay because we have dereferencing of temp here in the second statement we are working with the pointer temp okay so here we are modifying the value where temp is pointing and this is the modification of the temp pointer okay second statement is modification of temp pointer okay now uh, in the first iteration we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key okay so we have plus is equal to here therefore we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key now star temp is c and key is 1 therefore we have star temp is equal to c plus 1 that is equal to d here why because 
1 adding 1 to c will give us d so we have this as capital d here so therefore new value of this first position is d so i'll just modify this here so we have this as d after this we have temp is equal to temp plus key so we are adding 1 to the pointer temp okay so here we have temp pointing here and temp plus 1 that is temp plus key is nothing but pointing to next element okay therefore now temp will point to this o so we have start temp that is value at this address is o after this we'll go for next iteration we have test condition that start temp is not equal to null now start temp that is a value at this where temp is pointing is o and o is not equal to null therefore this condition is true and we'll go inside this while loop inside this we have again the same things that is start temp is equal to start temp plus key now start temp that is the value at temp where, where temp is pointing is o and o plus key that is o plus one that is equal to p why because p comes after o therefore we have this as p so i'll just modify it inside the string also so we have new value for o as p okay that's it then we have temp is equal to temp plus key that is temp is pointing to next element because adding one to temp will give us pointer to next element so therefore now temp is pointing to m and therefore we have star temp that is a value at this address as m okay then we have temp uh, then we have next iteration so we have star temp is not equal to null now star temp is m and m is not equal to null so we'll go inside this while loop again we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key now star temp is m and m plus key that is m plus one is n so we have this as m n now okay i'll just modify it here also so we have this as n again we have temp is equal to temp plus key that is temp will point to next element so we have temp pointing to p now therefore star temp is p that is value at this is p then we'll check the next iteration so we have star temp is not equal to null star temp is p and p is not equal to null then we'll go inside this while loop we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key now star temp is p and p plus key that is p plus uh, 1 is equal to q so we have this as q okay that is this thing is q okay then we have temp is equal to temp plus key that is temp will point to next element u okay then we'll check the condition so this we have star temp is equal to q now, uh, u now then we'll check the condition for next iteration that is star temp is not equal to null this condition is true so we'll go inside this while loop so we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key now star temp is u and u plus key that is u plus 1 is equal to v therefore we have this as v and we have this v here also then we have temp is equal to temp plus key therefore temp will point to the next element that is t now so we have star temp is equal to t then we we'll go for next iteration so we have star temp is not equal to null this condition is true so we'll go inside this while loop we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key that is t will become now u so we have new value for this as u now after this we have temp is equal to temp plus key that is temp will point to next element so we have star temp is equal to e okay so we'll check the condition is star temp is not equal to null this is true so we'll enter inside this while loop inside this we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key that is e is equal to now e plus 1 that is f so we have this as f then we have temp is equal to temp plus key that is temp will point to next element that is r so we have star temp as r now then we'll check the next iteration that is temp is not equal to null star temp is not equal to null that is true so we'll enter inside this uh, loop so we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key so we have star temp is equal to s now okay so i'll just modify it here also then we have temp is equal to temp plus key okay therefore temp will point to next element then we have start temp is equal to 2 now now we have a uh, test condition that is star temp is not equal to null and 2 is not equal to null so we'll enter inside this while loop so we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key now star temp is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so we have this as 3 i'll just modify it here okay then we have temp is equal to temp plus key that is temp will point to next element that is 0 okay therefore we have star temp as 0 now then again we have this condition that is star temp is not equal to null and 0 is not equal to null so we are so we are right so we'll go inside this while loop so we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key that is 0 is now 1 because 0 plus 1 is 1 now again we have temp is equal to temp plus key that is temp will point to next element so we have temp pointing to 1 now we'll check the condition is uh, star temp not equal to null and star temp is not equal to null because star temp is 1 so we'll enter inside this while loop inside this we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key that is temp will star temp will become 2 now okay and then we have temp is equal to temp plus key that is temp will point to next element okay so we have star temp is equal to 7 now 
then uh, we'll check the condition is star temp not equal to null and seven is not equal to null so we'll go inside this while loop we have star temp is equal to star temp plus key now uh, star temp is seven and seven plus key that is seven plus one is eight so we have this as eight this is eight okay now we have temp is equal to temp plus key okay that is now temp will point to next element that is this now we know that at the end of every string we have a null character okay that is now temp is pointing to a null character then we'll check the condition is star temp not equal to null okay now see star temp is equal to null okay therefore this condition is false why because star temp is equal to null therefore this uh, loop will terminate and we'll go back to main okay so we have new value for pvt msg as this okay so in the main we have executed this part so we'll go for next that is see out so in the answer sheet you'll write this thing that is new interpret message after pass so i'll just copy this so in the output you'll write this and then we have this that is c plus one now c is zero okay therefore c plus one is zero plus one that is one so i'll write one here after pass one and then we have is i'll just copy this and then we have pvt msg okay so we'll write the new value for pvt msg that is this so we just copy this and just write it here so this is our output for first iteration okay then we'll go for next iteration that is now we have int c is equal to 1 because c is incremented okay therefore we have c is equal to 1 now okay so we have c as 1 after this again we'll go inside this uh, for loop and we have we are calling the function again okay now we have calling the function by passing two parameters again we are passing the uh, string here that is our new string not this string okay we are passing the new string that is this string okay and then we are passing the key set of c now c is 1 okay therefore key set of 1 is 2 therefore we are passing this new string and 2 that is now our s will become uh, s will point to this first element that is this for s okay this is pointing here that is d and then we have key is equal to 2 why because we are passing 2 here so we have key is equal to 2 now now we'll go inside this encrypt function inside this we have temp is equal to s that is this is temp and this is pointing to the first element that is uh, s and that is a value stored in s okay therefore this temp is pointed to d here then we have if key modulus 2 is equal to 0 now key is 2 okay therefore key is 2 and 2 modulus 2 is equal to 0 why because the remainder here is 0 when 2 is equal to 2 and 2 into 1 is equal to 2 okay so we have 2 into 1 is equal to 2 therefore the remainder here is 0 okay therefore this condition is true so we'll go inside this if condition we have key minus minus that is key will be decremented now so we have key is equal to key minus minus that is 1 so now key is equal to 1 okay now again we'll go for the while loop and then we have start temp is not equal to null now see start temp is uh, having a value of d because temp is pointing here and the value here is d okay now uh, this condition is true because star temp is not equal to null therefore we'll go inside this while loop now again we have the same thing now again you have to follow the same procedure but with the new string that is our string is this now so again follow the same thing follow this uh, uh, execute this while loop and you'll get the output as this okay so so in the answer sheet you'll write this output so the basic thing here is that you have to pass the array as function argument and you're passing the address of first element of the array as function argument. So thanks for watching.